this colony here is the aggressive colony and I was thinking to myself they're pretty calm at the moment but they're not because they're coming at me and I've already taken this thing off them they've had two frames of eggs and larvae from another colony and they didn't have the sense to do anything with it so I'm going to have to unite these ones with another colony because it's a shame to waste them all really or to shake them out and I need to do it soon I'm going to probably do it tomorrow they've had a feed and there's pollen on them so they're not shy of the food really and they're putting food up in the super as well but the amount of drones that are in here because we did have a drone laying queen the amount of drones that are in here are just going to eat that food pretty quick because they're all emerging so rather than waste time with it tomorrow I'm going to come back up choose a colony and then just get it united with them still a lot of brood and they're bringing pollen in they're bringing food in nectar they're putting it in they're doing everything except drawing out the queen and the noise they're making is telling me that ovaries are starting to develop just a quick thought as well in my mind there's two cells in here two queen cells and this one here the angry colony doesn't actually have one they're queenless and I've put two frames of brood in there or brood in all stages eggs and larvae and cap brood and they haven't done anything with that so they haven't drawn a queen out so what I may do is just to remind myself for tomorrow I'll have a look in this one I wasn't going to I wasn't going to disturb it I'll look in there tomorrow and I'll just check those two cells and if they're capped what I may then do is put one in that colony see what they do with it I've just split this colony which is one of the reasons why I was up here really I'm leaving them with five frames together and then the sixth frame from the hive from the original brood box which this is I've just put another frame which is on the end in between so they're drawing that out they are bringing food in they are storing it they're taking syrup down as well and pollen and they've kept their room tidy and this frame this one here is the latest frame with eggs and larvae because the one after that was what the queen was on which is let me just check she's not on there before I put that down which is this frame here so she's laying on this one at the moment this one I've taken because they're building this out with wax. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me lift it out. So they'll continue to do that. And then she'll have somewhere to lay. She's then going to go up into this commercial brood box, which is going to sit on top of a national brood box with a queen excluder in between. And then she's going to hopefully continue to lay while the brood on these other frames is going to be sitting in the national hive or the national brood box they'll then move up to the commercial and then once that's happened i'll then take the national away and put the commercial onto the floor all being well so this is them or the two of them the first two there's a brood box with a queen in queen excluder brood box queen in queen excluder and the rest of the colony is in the national underneath the green that you see is a syrup feeder three and a half gallon syrup feeder and they're probably both half full the one on the right i did top up this one here this one is half full i've kind of leveled the pallet off as well i've dug out a little bit of the ground and the pallet or the water line syrup line in these is now sitting nice and square and i didn't bring an entrance block up with me so i just knocked one up there the queen 
goes for both hives really the queen in the top here there's two frames and the rest of the brood is in the national underneath and the nurse bees the worker bees so the bees should still stay down here to protect and keep the brood warm overnight and then they'll also go up because that's where the queen is now in the morning they'll come out of here they'll get these ones excited and interested there'll be a little bit of movement going up and down so the bees will rotate themselves within this little sort of um, chimney nest as it is now and then they'll come out the entrance go out fly pick up forage pollen and bring it back so they'll be feeding what's left of the larvae and the eggs which is in the national hive here and they'll also go up to make sure that the little bit of brood in the frame and what the queen is laying into also has food and then I'll give that maybe three weeks for the brood to emerge from this box and then I'll take this away and all of the bees hopefully then should be up I shouldn't have any more brood in here because the queen's in the brood box and she can't get through the queen excluder which is here and then I'll take this national away all the frames the two frames that she's on in here I'll move them to the sides and it may be that the bees have built a little bit of comb on the underside and there may be drones in there but whatever brood is in those two frames in the center they will just be moved to the side they'll emerge and I'll take them away and then they'll be all nice new comb in that top box which by then will be on the floor And this is the other one we have at the other end of the site. This is just set up at the moment with a lure in it just to catch, hopefully, catch a swarm. And I'm going to put another one beside it. But this is all fruit here, these are all berries. I'm not sure if it's red currants or black currants. I was told, but I've forgotten. Up the top there is a vineyard which carries on over the other side of these hills. These here as well in the middle of the site or central are all berries as well, fruit berries. So they'll flower nicely as will these. Bit of a vegetable garden as well and over the other side they're gonna have um, vegetables growing fruit growing and this is just one little piece of the vineyard which goes on up and beyond and then up in there there's apple trees Up over the top. I'm not quite sure if you can see them, to be honest.